On December 20th, a high-profile Chinese military commentator, Rear Admiral Liu Yuan, during a speech in 2018 Military Industry List Summit, told that disputes over the ownership of the East and South China Seas could be resolved by sinking two U.S. supercarriers. As reported by Taiwan's Central News Agency, he stated that China's latest crop of anti-ship ballistic and cruise missiles was capable of sinking American supercarriers, and fear of casualty will frighten America. He said that the loss of one supercarrier would cost the U.S. lives of 5,000 servicemen and women. Sinking two would double that toll. Admiral Liu was added, what the United States fears the most is taking casualties. We'll see how frightened America is. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China should understand sinking an American supercarrier is a very difficult task. Let's get into the details. America has lots of military satellites and high-tech communication interception systems. These have the ability to pinpoint locations of Chinese missile launcher batteries. The U.S. has multiple military assets that can be used to carry out a preemptive strike on these bases and destroy the anti-ship missiles on the ground. This includes stealth bombers like B-2 Spirit, which China has no answer to. B-2s could penetrate deep inside Chinese territory and can take out numerous missile battery installation in one go because of its huge payload capacity. Long-range Tomahawk cruise missile launched from different platforms can also be used for this task. The Chinese media, as well as officials, are known to brag heavily about Chinese military capabilities, many of which are far off from the truth. Let us take the case of China's so-called fifth-generation fighter, Chengdu J-20. It was touted to be a stealth fighter, but things have unraveled some time back. Indian pilots on Russian-made Su-30 MKIs from Indian airspace managed to detect and track the new Chinese jets when they were conducting flight training over Tibet. The disclosure didn't come from any independent analysts but from an official source. Indian Air Force commander Arup Shaha said, The Sukhoi's radar can see them. The new Chinese jets are not so invisible after all. No special technology is required to detect the J-20 as it can be detected by ordinary radar systems. Same as the J-20, the actual capabilities of Chinese anti-ship missile are suspect. China has a wide variety of anti-ship missiles. This includes ballistic missiles like Dongfeng-21 and cruise missiles like YJ-12. But all these missiles rely on a complex chain of supporting elements like radars and GPS guidance. The U.S. has sophisticated means of counters that can jam these supporting elements and render the missiles useless. For example, American supercarriers have Boeing EA-18G Growler, which is specially equipped for electronic warfare. Nimitz-class carriers, which form the backbone of U.S. carrier fleet, as well as the new Ford-class carriers, are the biggest warships to roam the oceans, displacing about 100,000 tons of water. But that doesn't mean they're slow and lumbering. Powered by their nuclear reactors, they can move at 35 miles or 56 kilometers per hour. That means they're fast enough to outrun modern submarines, as well as many types of destroyers and cruisers. Though these carriers are so big, in open ocean a carrier is not easy to detect or track. In 30 minutes after a sighting by an opponent, the area within which a carrier might be operating will expand to 900 square miles and this will increase to around 4,000 square miles after 60 minutes. Nimitz class as well as Ford class carriers are specially designed to be able to absorb hits from missiles and torpedoes. They're designed to have hundreds of watertight compartments which can be sealed if hit. This prevents water from flowing into other portions of the carrier and stops the vessel from going down. It must be noted that American supercarriers have very strong Kevlar armor protection in sensitive parts and hence are hard to penetrate. All in all, it can be said that to sink a supercarrier, it would have to be hit multiple times and with very powerful weapons.
Nimitz as well as Ford class carriers have powerful sensors for 360 degree coverage of the space around them as well as have a host of defensive weapons to neutralize different types of threats. This includes 16 to 24 RIM-7 Sea Sparrow missiles and 3 to 4 Phalanx close-in weapon system. RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is short-range anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon system, primarily intended for defense against anti-ship missiles. It has a range of 10 miles and a speed of Mach 3.5. Phalanx close-in weapon system is deployed for last-ditch defense against anti-ship missile and is capable of firing up to 50 rounds per second. Also, the carrier air wing of 60-plus aircraft includes a squadron of early warning radar planes. These fly well ahead of the aircraft carrier and keep scanning vast areas for potential threats. The aircraft carrier also has helicopters equipped with anti-submarine, anti-surface and counter-mine warfare weapons. It must be noted that all these assets act in coordination and form a holistic defense against any kind of threats. American carriers do not operate alone but are deployed as part of a carrier strike group. The carrier strike group consists of multiple Ticonderoga class cruiser and Arleigh Burke class destroyers as well as Virginia class attack submarines. Ticonderoga class guided missile cruiser and Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer are equipped with a diverse array of weapons for anti-aircraft warfare, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare as well as have the ability to intercept ballistic missiles through Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. These vessels can also act as a shield for the supercarrier by coming in between missiles or torpedoes and the supercarriers. The Virginia-class submarines can defeat enemy submarines, clear sea mines, as well as score hits on land installations. Also, the strike group can summon additional support from nearby bases. The U.S. is the only nation to operate so many supercarriers since they are very costly to build and operate. The U.S. Navy is very experienced in operating carrier strike groups and have developed tactics to keep the supercarrier safe. The assertions of Rear Admiral Liu Yuan comes at a time when the U.S. and China are entangled in vicious trade war. This kind of statement will further increase the trust deficit. It's clear from our analysis it will be difficult for China to sink any of American supercarrier. Also, taking out one to two supercarriers will not be the end of the battle but will be the beginning of an American retribution. China must look back into history, especially the Pearl Harbor attack, when Japan thought it will be able to neutralize the American Pacific Fleet with a surprise attack. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.